Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's full of tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. So today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about some things that you can do to get prepared for your volleyball tryouts. I heard from a little birdie that a lot of you guys are having volleyball tryouts this week. It's important for you to get prepared. So let's get right into this video. Congratulations on wanting to try it for your volleyball team. And I know that trying out is hard enough, but we want to do things that give us the best chance of making a good impression. You have to be proud of yourself for making it this far and remembering that it's going to be a good experience for you, whether you make the team or not. One thing that I always recommend is positive affirmations and positive affirmations are things that you can tell yourself that can really boost your mood and even manifest your opportunity to make the team. If you tell yourself good things, you possibly could believe them. We want to make sure that we're giving ourselves the best chance by telling ourselves and being kind to ourselves. My dad had a saying a long time ago that if you're on time, you're late. So timeliness is everything. By showing up early, you're showing the coach that you are there on time. It gives you a chance to calm your nerves and get prepared. And one of the things I recommend that you always do is introduce yourself to the coach. I know I've said this in many videos before. I know that this sounds scary, but it is essential because it lets the coach know that you're serious, that you're coachable, and you're taking this opportunity very seriously and you're not taking it for granted. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. You just need to give them your name and something that will set you apart from other people, especially if there's a lot of people trying out. I know it does sound scary, but it is a great move. A sample that you could do is just coming up to them and saying, hi, my name is Coco and I'm very excited to be here. Something super easy that lets them see you. Now, I know a lot of people in life are not fans of cardio, but cardiovascular health is very important, and it's a type of exercise that gets your heart pumping. In volleyball, we usually typically call cardiovascular exercise conditioning, and conditioning is something that you may likely participate in while you're at tryouts. So make sure that you are ready to run, possibly do wall sits and stretches, but take your stretching seriously. Now time for the nitty gritty. Fair use dictates that we can use any video on YouTube for educational purposes. So I want you to remind you that there are some skills that you should know, but you do not need to know everything. I'm gonna say that again. You do not need to know everything, but it's good to know something. Coaches do not expect you to be a professional player, but they do want you to have some experience. I definitely recommend that you have an understanding of the game, the positions, the rules, and general gameplay. That's something that is helpful. Do you need to know the ins and outs of everything? No, but understanding the basic skills is really helpful. Here's some examples, and you can pause this, of things that you might want to know or have an understanding of. Like I said, you don't need to know how to do everything, but if you have an understanding, that's something that's coachable and we can work with. Understanding the basic body mechanics of skills is helpful, but it's not necessary unless you are trying out for a club or varsity. For example, do you need to know your position? As what I've previously stated, if you're trying out for an advanced team, yes, you need to know your position, but most of the time the coach will suggest a place that they think that you'll be optimal. You can start learning about the positions and thinking about a skill you connect with most. Do you like passing? Do you like setting? Do you like hitting? That's typically where I try to lead you. And then you're gonna be demonstrating skills at tryouts. So if you know the body mechanics of those skills, it's really helpful even if you're not perfect in those actions. That lets the coach know that you took it upon yourself, even as a beginner, to really look into the motions and seeing how things work. Do not compare yourself. There's gonna be a lot of different people there of different skill levels, but you have to remind yourself that you're there too. Show them you, put your best foot forward and go. Water, water, water. You need to be hydrated. That means drinking water before, 
during and after your tryout. I highly recommend bringing a water bottle with you that's refillable or having access to water. Do not skip your water breaks because it, you think it makes you look cool not to drink water. You need to hydrate. It's very imperative that you stay hydrated because you never know if your tryouts are multiple days, if it's one day, if you're gonna be conditioning and running, we wanna make sure that you take care of you. Also, I recommend that you need to bring something that has electrolytes in it. There are a lot of drinks on the market nowadays that have electrolyte infused drinks because electrolytes are essential minerals that your body needs to maintain some of your functions. If you get dehydrated, water is not going to rehydrate you as quickly as an electrolyte rich drink will. So if you can drink drinks with electrolytes, I suggest that you bring it so that way you can replenish your body quickly and stay up to date. There's a ton of videos on my channel that you can watch that are about volleyball tryouts, especially in the playlist. Remember, this tryout is not end all be all. You can play volleyball your whole life. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody who needs it. Good luck. That's good. Okay. 